Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, it is truly my pleasure to welcome you to the New York Times Higher Ed Leaders Forum, our annual meeting for presidents and provosts and chancellors and other decision makers from our country's most prominent and influential colleges and universities. We have a, uh, a few simple goals for this event, to provide you with some new perspectives and insights on the most urgent issues of the day, to share with you some practical strategies to help you lead more effectively, and to provide time and opportunities for you to make new connections and possibly even friends. Everyone in this room represents the highest levels of leadership in American education. It is you who are shaping the next generation of our country's political, social, artistic, and science, scientific thinkers. And education has long been an issue that is core to the mission of the journalism of the New York Times. The issues are complex and of, often highly charged. We know there are no easy answers, but given the enormous stakes we face, we must keep innovating to secure and ensure our higher education system in the United States remains the envy of the world. This year's forum will be hosted by some of the best and brightest journalists here at The Times. And last night, many of you heard from our executive editor, Dean Baquet, as he discussed education in the post-truth era with Amy Gutman and our media columnist, Jim Rutenberg. And you will hear more today from Frank Bruni, our op-ed columnist, who has earned a reputation as an authoritative and provocative voice on all aspects of education. Your host for this event, Adam Bryant, oversees the programming of all our conferences as editorial director of live journalism. He has learned a thing or two about leadership from interviewing more than 500 leaders, including many university and college presidents, for his weekly corner office series. He also has written two books on leadership and will share with you today a few of the exercises and presentations he has refined over years of teaching and writing about leadership. Kate Zernike, a prize-winning national correspondent who has spent many years covering education as well as politics and criminal justice, will be leading two discussions today. And Andrew Ross Sorkin, the founder and editor-at-large for DealBook, and a columnist for our business section, will be interviewing Sheila Baer on student debt. In a moment, you're going to meet Rebecca Blumenstein, our deputy managing editor, who oversees business coverage and our conferences, and earned a Pulitzer Prize for her stellar reporting as a foreign correspondent in China. I'd like to take a very brief moment to thank our sponsors, without whom this forum would not be possible, to the Carnegie Corporation of New York, Workday, the American Association of Presidents of Independent Colleges and Universities, and the American Council on Education. We thank you for supporting this very, very special event. And lastly, many thanks to Dorothea Harry, the Senior Vice President of NYT Live and her team, who have done an extraordinary job of organizing and programming today's event. I encourage you to go to NYT Live's website to learn more about the other great events our conference team has in store. So let's get started. Again, I want to say I appreciate your joining us, and we are confident you'll find today's discussions invigorating and enlightening and informative. And now, I would like to wake, welcome to the stage former Treasury Secretary and President Emeritus of Harvard University, Larry Summers, along with our esteemed Deputy Managing Editor, Rebecca Blumenstein. Here's to Larry and Rebecca. Thank you.